Hi Stephanie, uh, thank you for shooting with us today. Uh, we'd like to ask a few questions regarding the shoot we had today. Um, what was your experience with uh, drone lighting? It was a good experience. It was a very different perspective of being able to draw light. One, at night or like in the evening where there's not a lot of light. Two, a different direction where humans possibly we can't uh, get the light up there. Cool. Uh, was it too scary? No, it was not scary at all. Uh, was it too noisy? No, it wasn't very scary. It was like maybe like a little bit less than a blender. Okay. How far was the drone flying from you? Two, three meters? What do you say? Or feet? Probably like seven, eight feet behind. Maybe. Okay. Okay. So that's not scary. No. Okay. Uh, did the drone wind disturb your hair in any way? No, not. There was more wind in the air than. You mean the, the existing uh, natural wind was stronger yeah. than the drone yes. wind? Okay, thanks. Uh, do you think this lighting would have been possible without the drone lighting? No, it wouldn't because we can't put a human up there. No one's tall enough. Okay, <laughs> thanks. That's good. So you say, would you shoot again with drone lighting? Of course. Okay, thanks. Uh, hi, this is uh, Barry uh, Blanchard. He's a drone expert, drone enthusiast, a technical person, a photographer, uh, all-round uh, drone uh, drone photography guy. So today he helped us uh, fly the drones uh, with his DJI Phantoms that he has. We mounted a regular full-power Canon uh, equivalent flash with a remote uh, trigger on it. The flash is not visible right now, but that's where we mounted it. So let's hear what his thoughts on uh, today's uh, shooting. Um, what I found is that... Uh we have the ability to shoot our model over a bridge over here that's about 40, 50 feet in the air above water. And so and us, for us to be able to get a flash in a location where we were, we would have to come up and build some kind of scaffolding or something. But with a unit like this, we were able to directly target the flash on the model right where the photographer needed it at the time. How, how long did the drone fly with the flash on it? Because it's an unusual weight for the drone. It it's is an, an unusual weight, and I was impressed with the fact that we still flew over 20 minutes with this. Which is enough for, for a typical photo shoot. If you had to take a break and replace the battery, that would be like, you know, maybe two minutes of time to shut it down and replace the battery, which is not a big deal. Because yeah. anyway, photographers take break between uh, shots. Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, 20 minutes of the flash on there, eventually we're going to wear out the flash batteries anyhow. So after 20 minutes, it's probably a good idea to bring this home and then put two flash batteries in and a new battery in the helicopter. Yeah, yeah. And were you scared when you uh, flew the drone over water and rocks and whatnot? That doesn't bother me at all. I've been doing this a long time. Okay. The helicopter will let us know yeah. when the battery is getting low, so we know when to come in. Okay, okay. So this is same as shooting video, basically? To me, it's no different at all. It's, okay. Yeah, shooting video or stills with the, okay. with the quadcopter, yeah. it's the same. As far as uh, flyability and everything, it performed beyond my expectations. Okay, thank you. Any uh, last uh, um, thoughts? No, I think this is a really, really great idea whose time has come. I, I, I'm glad to be a part of this. This is cool. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. Oh, thanks.